What is intelligence? Growing up in an Indian household and living in Hong Kong, Asian values of intelligence were ingrained in me from a young age. Whether it being forced to attend Kumon lessons to become a math wizard, or having to go to three hour long swimming lessons every single day. My childhood consisted of methodically hourly block days where being tired, exhausted, or not being the best was simply not an option. Different people define intelligence differently. From Confucianism describing it as the enjoyment of learning, to Taoist describing it as humility, freedom from convention, and knowledge of self. It can be defined in a multitude of ways. For me, my parents and my upbringing were rooted in the belief that academic intelligence directly correlated to life success. So in my mind, an intelligent person inherited the ability to get all A's in class. However, nowadays, my perception of intelligence changes from situation to situation. So what exactly does it mean to do well or to succeed? Is it the speed of completion of tasks, the accuracy, the depth of mastery and understanding? Well, the weakened mindset theory suggests that uh, success comes from having the right mindset. And by having explored the different definitions of intelligence, we can create a rubrics of sorts to determine what to determine what a model intelligent person should look like. Some might argue, how many of these qualities does one have to in collectively inherit in order to be considered intelligent? And how well do you have to inherit said quality? And what psychometric properties are utilized to measure these? And what does intelligence mean? Well, let me tell you a secret. And I know it might be hard for you to hear this, but we are all dumb. So let us take a look at two cases, examining them contextually, uh, based off of our ignorant, selfish traits as a human species. Case one, humans share a false consensus effect which often leads to misinformation which is skewed by bias. Let us take a look at an example like war. War in really brief terms can be described, uh, war in very brief terms is described as the differences between different nations. It is described as the ultimate expression of humankind, whereby human aggression overpowers human reasoning, placing millions of lives in danger, causing detrimental effects to our environment, and halting the development of social and economical stances of nations. We, have hu we as humans have shown no intelligence whatsoever to minimize such detrimental effects to our society. Such stupidity can date back to the Trojan War, or the Crimean War, what does this say about us regarding our inability to learn from such catastrophic events? Is this ignorance an implication of the nature of stupidity that humans possess in the form of intelligence? This inability to learn, to, to learn, to improve, to reflect is the biggest indicator as the stupidity of our race. Case two. Case two is an investigation investigating the uh, forgetfulness of people. This extends beyond simple facts and into deeper topics such as uh, political stances. A study was conducted to see how well people uh, remembered a politician's policy after a mere 10 minutes of distraction, where the results proved to be as good as flipping a coin, where two thirds were unable to answer accurately. This ignorant, stupid nature of humans um, makes us underestimate, which makes us overestimate our knowledge. How smart are we if we lack basic knowledge about our own environment? We can take a look at the extinction of numerous species critical to our food chain, which, uh, which is a direct consequence of human ignorance and selfish behaviors. We can also take a look at deforestation, which is the leading problem of climate change and an, increase, an, an immense increase in carbon dioxide levels. These, uh, these issues directly impact human health, yet we do little to nothing to mitigate these problems. How smart are we if we to mitigate these problems? Um, how smart are we if, wait, we do little to nothing to mitigate these problems? Instead, we continue on this uh, life cycle of a path leading us to our possibly our own doom. Um, 
Is this an implication of the nature of stupidity that humans possess in the form of intelligence? Uh, this selfish individual behavior is the root cause of our stupidity. So I know it might be hard for you to hear this, but we are all dumb. So let us, look, let us make an action, a concrete actionable plan to make us smarter. We first need to understand what constitutes smartness. And by having this rubric, we can employ several of these skills in order to make you and me more intelligent. Firstly, in order to become more academically in intelligent, you can uh, read a new book, you could learn a new instrument, or you could learn a new language. This increases fluid intelligence. So now, if you want to increase your emotional intelligence, you can read a book, um, you can ask for feedback to audit self-perception, uh, or you can understand when you feel certain emotions. Reading especially opens you to complex characters and emotions that are a great way to increase emotional intelligence. You can increase your creativity by exercising. Multiple studies have shown that physical activity uh, spurs, uh, physical activities increase um, endorphins which spur innovation and increase overall mood and creativity. You can increase your interpersonal intelligence by um, by practicing empathy or uh, engaging in group activities. Group, a group activities such as sport games, sport events, are a great way to increase your interpersonal, as not only does it help you with your communication skills, uh, be, uh, understanding what you and your teammates need, but it also helps build a great group dynamic. Next, to improve your adaptability, you can understand when you're wrong and improve when uh, you're wrong. Um, you can also take risks by stepping out of your boundary and taking a step outside of your comfort zone. And finally, you can become more open-minded by challenging your beliefs, by staying curious. Um, you can do this by reading books or articles that, uh, that articulate points that you might not necessarily agree with. By doing this, you can increase your intelligence. Although, um, although, uh, although it won't be immediate, over time, these skills will become daily habits, increasing your smartness. Um, and therefore, I have one more thing to say to you all, and that is, and I know you might not want to hear this, but we are all initially dumb. Thank you.